Hi guys, I'm Amanda, one of the co-founders of Dormify, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create the ultimate gallery wall. Let's start with the tools you'll need to create the gallery wall of your dreams. A level, which you can also get on your iPhone, there's an app, 3M command poster strips, a tape measure, a pencil and eraser, a small notebook for writing down measurements, and assorted washi tape. Now let's get started. So you can select posters, magazine cutouts, fun photos, or even an object like a hat to put on your wall. There's a variety of objects on the wall, but you wanna create a unified look, and you have a few options to do this. You can choose a color scheme for everything that you put on the wall, or you can just choose a color of washi tape to tie the whole look together. So when you're choosing your artwork, you really wanna think about balancing the whole wall. You're gonna to have to choose a variety of horizontal and vertical pieces and think about the different dimensions of the objects and posters that you're putting on the wall. When creating a gallery wall, it's really important to make it look dynamic. So the more mediums and the more variety, the better. For example, I used canvases, posters, my favorite photography, and a few wallflowers to polish off my look. Before you begin your gallery wall, it's important to test drive the arrangement and lay out all of your posters and objects on the floor to see what it's gonna look like on the wall. Our rule of thumb is to begin with the largest poster in the center and build out all the smaller pieces around it. We put three inches of space between the posters, photos, and objects on the wall to make sure everything looks even. For all of you apartment dwellers, there's a great way to plan out your gallery wall before getting started. We suggest cutting out all of the pieces that you're putting on the wall in craft paper and placing them on the wall so you can easily move around the pieces. This way, you'll limit the amount of holes you actually put in your wall. Like I said before, we'll start with the largest poster and use that as the focal point, then build the rest of the posters and objects around it. And here's a quick tip. Have a friend stand on the other side of the room. It's really helpful. Really don't worry about making everything look even. Honestly, the more imperfect, the better, because it'll really make it look like it's your own. Throughout the school year, you can even continue to add on to your gallery wall. I'm sure you'll have space and you'll have tons of new friends and photos to put up around it. If you do need some suggestions, we're here to help. You can head over to our blog in the link below and you'll find five types of gallery walls to transform your space. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.